You're watching From the Heart with John Willard. Hi friends, John Willard here. I have a really good show today about life. And please remember the subscribe button below for CNA TV. Friends, life is now in session. Are you present? My opening thought, kindness is the oil that takes the friction out of life. Hmm. A reporter rushed to a fire where a house was steadily burning down to the ground. The entire structure was ablaze. The newsman noticed that there was a little boy standing nearby with his mom and dad watching everything go up in flames. With sympathy in his voice, the reporter said, Son, it looks like you don't have a home anymore. The little boy looked up and responded courageously, We have a home. We just don't have a house to put it in. <laughs> hmm. A house is a house until love comes through the door, that is. Mm. And love intuitively goes around sprinkling that special brand of angel dust that transforms a house into a very special home for very special people, your family. Money of course, can build a charming house, but only love can furnish it with a feeling of home. Duty can pack an adequate sack lunch, but love may decide to enclose a little love note inside. Money can provide a television set, but love controls it and cares enough to say no and take the guff that comes with it. Obligation sends the children to bed on time, but love tucks the covers in around their necks and passes out kisses and hugs. Obligation can cook a meal, but love embellishes the table with a potted ivy trailing around the slender candles. Duty writes many letters, but love adds a joke or a picture or a fresh stick of gum inside. Compulsion keeps a sparkling house, but love stands a better chance of producing a happy family. Duty gets offended quickly if it isn't appreciated, but love learns to laugh a lot and to work for the sheer joy of doing it. Obligation can pour a glass of milk, but quite often love makes it sweeter. Did I say life is now in session? A father tried to teach his seven-year-old daughter the meaning of sacrifice. He explained that the finest gift a person can give is some cherished possession, one that the person values very much. On his birthday, the father found pinned to his coat a large sheet of paper on which his daughter has laboriously printed with red crayon. <laughs> In a childish way, she said, you are my favorite daddy 
and I love you heaps. My present to you is what I likes best. It's in your pocket. <laughs> in his pocket, he found a strawberry lollipop that he had given her the week before. It hadn't been licked once. <laughs> Let me share this poem. Do you wish the world were better? Let me tell you what to do. Set a watch upon your actions. Keep them always straight and true. Rid your mind of selfish motives. Let your thoughts be clean and high. You can make a little Eden on this fear you occupy. Do you wish the world were wiser? Well, suppose you make a start by accumulating wisdom in the scrapbook of your heart. Do not waste one page on folly. Learn to live and live to learn. If you want to give men knowledge, you must get it ere you give. Do you wish the world were happy? Then remember, day by day, just to scatter seeds of kindness as you pass along the way. Many things will catch your eye but only a few will catch your heart. Pursue those. My th final thought for today, home should be a retreat to which a son or daughter can return in triumph or defeat, in victory or disgrace, and know they will be loved. You can reach me on Twitter at John Willard 47. This is John Willard from the farm.